Hello folks, it's David Connolly here with a quick demonstration of how to do a basic send using the message box system. I'm speaking of course about a basic sending of SMS messages. This is pretty much the most simple demonstration possible. Later on we will move on to more advanced functionality. For the moment, I would like you to log on to the message box system. You'll see eight big buttons here. And the one we want to click is the one which says send SMS, okay? Now, once you click here, you'll be taken to a page which essentially has two large text areas, okay? These are areas where you can uh, input text. Now, the one at the top half of the page is where you would type in or paste in your target mobile telephone numbers. Now, I'm just going to type some numbers in and you can see that we can separate with commas. Do you see the commas? So I'm separating with commas, okay? Now, obviously, folks, these are completely meaningless numbers. I'm just doing this randomly. Obviously, you would have real meaningful mobile phone numbers. If you don't like the comma method of separating numbers, you can just do a new number on each line. It's no problem at all. And again, I have to stress, these are meaningless numbers, obviously, okay? So you would add your numbers to the top section, and then in the section on the lower half of the screen, this is where you would type in your text message, the message that's going to be sent to all of the numbers above. Now, um, just a quick word of advice. It's really not a good idea to paste in from an application like Microsoft Word, for example. Sometimes that can add formatting and on, on, you know, disallowed characters. It's just not a good idea. So I'm going to just type in a message. I'm going to say, hello there. This is a test. Here we go. Okay. So there you are. I've typed in a message. We have our target numbers at the top of the screen. Actually, let me just quickly type in my own number. Okay, so that we can have some sort of meaningful test. And over on the bottom right hand side, we have a big button which says send. And this is what we would click to send the SMS messages. However, you don't have to send straight away. If you want, you can do a scheduled send. Look, if I click scheduled send, a calendar pops up with a clock, we can choose the date and time, and look folks, we can even spread our messages over a certain time frame, spread our sending of messages over a certain time frame. It's super, super easy to use. Now, in this instance, I'm going to just do a straightforward send, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna click send. And there we go. Now, it has taken us across to message control. Let me just explain, okay? Now, from a navigational perspective, we started off at send SMS, and now it has taken us to this message control part of the system here. Now, we have a section called scheduled items, okay? This is where it takes us after we send. You can see a little egg timer here. You can see that it's uh, dated and timestamped. You have a preview of the message, the volume, the credits. It's all right here, okay? Now, what happens is there's normally a little delay of about between 10 and 30 seconds before the message becomes available for sending, okay? Now, there's an automated program that basically you know, constantly looks for messages to send. And what I'm saying is that there's a little delay before that program picks it up. That, that delay is just so that if there's any errors, then you can quickly highlight and click delete. It's no problem, just in case you make a mistake, okay? But all things being well, this message should be going out any second now. <laughs> And there you have it. So, uh, you probably heard that. That was my phone here, and the message has been sent, okay? Now, while we're on the message control system here, 
And again, let me just confirm, you can see that the screen has cleared, okay, which means we have no more scheduled items. So whilst we are on message control, let me just explain a couple of features which you may find useful. We have uh, this outboxes section here. We can look at scheduled items, which is now empty. We can look at sent items. So here are some items that were sent earlier on. It was actually just me testing the system. And we can look at API sent items, just in case you are using this uh, and you have it integrated with your website. Now, when we click on uh, a message or a campaign, which would be a sending of a group of messages, we'll have a pie chart here and it will either have blue or green or red. Blue means pending, meaning it has been, you know, we've sent, but we are waiting on a success report from the SMS provider, if that makes sense. So there's actually reports that come in from the networks which say success or failure. If you see a blue or if you see a blue pie chart or blue on the graph, it means pending. Green means it has been sent, a success port, uh, report received, all is well, and red would mean uh, that the message has failed for some reason. Okay, now I've actually never seen a red on this system. It is kind of a rare thing. But um, the other thing I wanted to show you is that you can export delivery reports. If I go, let's see, if I go to sent items here, I can go to the top section here and we can export a delivery report as a CSV, XLS, XLSX, a PDF or an HTML. Now this is super easy, folks. I'm going to do PDF, right? So you can see that we have a menu comes up here. We can filter our reports out, you know, we can do this by month, by mobile phone number, we can even do um, reports between certain dates uh, or even within the last X amount of days. I'm just going to do a report for June. I'm going to click OK and look how quick this is, folks. Look at that. It has already generated a PDF. So there, folks, is how to send, do a basic send using the message box system and also how to view reports so that you can track the sending of your SMS messages. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.